Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rissa, aka Rissa Explains It All, where I don't go over anything anymore, but today I am going over why I am back in LA, what's going on, what's the update, all of that jazz. So if you're interested in a little coffee talk rant, then um, stay tuned and we're about to go over that. <laughs> Welcome back. First of all, we need to address some things in the room. One, I chopped off all my hair. I was in a crisis. I was going through a lot of things and I chopped it all off. You guys, you guys know. If you know, you know, okay? Secondly, I just got some coffee. I am in LA, guys. I moved back to LA. Only, I'm just kidding. I did not move back to LA. Um, <laughs> but I am here for a concert. We are going to the Blackpink concert. If you guys are K-pop fans, then you know who that is. And then I will be flying immediately from here to Florida um, to hang out with family out there. And I'll be working out there too. So anyways, I just thought I would go ahead and update you guys with what's been going on, why I've not been posting and updates and such. So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys right now that moving to a slower paced place is not easy for someone who's super busy bodied like me um so it's taken some time for me to get adjusted and um i was like before i moved i had no worries in my mind no nothing blah 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 so immediately when we touched down out there like the next day i was having mental breakdowns you just overthink it like did you make the right decision is this for you blah 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 so i've been just going in and out of like different breakdowns and um depression <laughs> anxiety and then also like as you guys know i have ocd like pretty severely so that's been playing a part into triggering certain things for me and ever since i was little any type of move or any type of thing like that triggers my ocd pretty badly so i've been trying to deal with that but other than that guys everything's been okay and good and to be honest i have not been doing any gig work because that's the lovely part about being in kansas is that me and my husband both have jobs where it's not really necessary to do gig work so it's been actually really nice not having to go to work and then work after work uh, so that's kind of why I've been not doing anything gig related because I don't want to. <laughs> it's been the most relaxing, stress-free thing to not have to do that and to not have to go out and want to make more money just for myself or to make it for, for rent because rent is expensive. Not where I'm living, but when I was in LA. So... That's kind of where I've been slacking on my gig work type of stuff. What else? What else? Also, I don't want to do gig work in my Range Rover, which I do plan on selling that soon. I actually put a deposit down on a new car, guys, which will be like my brand new gig car. I'll probably show you guys that once I purchase it. It's just in transit from the manufacturer. It's nothing crazy. It's not a luxury car. That's been also another part of my journey here. Because this is this to me is more of a spiritual type of transition than, um, well, not transition. We're not transitioning yet. Um, a <laughs> spiritual like transition for me as far as what's been going on with my mind and stuff. So um, moving from L.A., to a smaller town is not just about moving to save money and to make more money it's actually like a spiritual thing for me but yeah anyways back to the car so i'll be getting the car hopefully in september is the eta and then i will probably start to do like uber and other stuff here on the side just making like a little bit of content with that because i necessarily don't want to do it full time that is not my end goal. I still want to make some videos about it and I still will do budgeting vid videos here soon. So that's the plan. Other than that, guys, everything's been going okay besides my mental breakdowns. Actually, really good things have been happening. My husband got a brand new job or career and pretty much doubled his salary, which was really crazy because when we were in LA, he was literally fighting for quarters for quarters like asking to get a raise for this amount 
and it would be like quarters and the companies still couldn't really come up to those needs for him so and then we move out here to the middle of nowhere and he gets double the salary and weekends off which he has not had weekends off with any job that we had in California and then for me I actually did get a really good paying um, job out there and then I have a few others that I'm looking at that will be more like a big girl job big salary job type of uh, roles so kind of looking into that and the one I work for now is hybrid I know a lot of people always ask me how do I get hybrid roles or um, work from home roles I just search those type of things sometimes I get with recruiters and um, also ask them that those are my preferences that's kind of how I do it but out there it's not really that bad to drive to work i have to be honest because there's no traffic there is traffic like on a certain type of day or a certain point of the day but it's not like traffic is in la so uh it doesn't really bug me to go into work there and because there's really not that much to do in kansas going to work is actually like good for me because you know it's like keeps my mind busy throughout the day and stuff like that so yeah guys i don't know I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know what's been going on. I have to say guys, I have to say that I do really love having a house. It is such a game changer. And as much as I'm talking about how I've been having breakdowns and is this the right decision for me, blah, 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 blah. Um, being here in LA, like I don't want to be, I don't want to move here. I wouldn't want to live here again. Um, well, I can never say never, but like just solely off the traffic already the unfriendliness and the prices i'm already like okay this is confirmation for my mind that i made the right decision and also like i said for the spiritual side guys and if you believe in god or a higher power or whoever i truly believe that things are put in your heart for a reason and there is a reason that i moved and like some of my family says if i maybe i can't see it now but i will see it you know unravel once i'm there i truly believe that god did not put that on my heart to move for no reason and i actually had one of my friends who lives, so she's from Florida. She moved out here to San Diego around the same time. We basically like have, she says we've been living the same life, but in different parallel like universes. Um, she sent me like this really good message the other day because I've been having like a lot of spiritual symbolism happen to me. She basically said like, I am global, that I don't have to be in a specific city or state in order to fill like I can accomplish X, Y, and Z results in my, either my career, just my personal life, blah, blah, blah. And I like truly appreciated that, um, so much because that's like, that resonated with me so much because you're on social media or you're in a certain sector like this, you kind of feel like you have to be in one of the main hubs, Los Angeles, New York. Um, maybe even Texas or like even sometimes like London or Paris you kind of feel like you have to be in those city or states to make it so I thought that was really cool and nice that she sent me over like those words because she said she felt it was on her heart to let me know that I am global it doesn't matter where I am and she said certain things like that so I don't know I just felt like I wanted to share that at the end of this little rant that I'm going on because if anybody else is battling certain things you should know that you are the prize and that wherever you go you hold your gift and no one can take that from you so with that being said guys I am sorry I've been MIA I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant and um, I hope to see you guys soon no promises but I'm hoping that next month I will be showing you guys a brand new gig car and start to get back into some some gig work not fully and just let you guys know what's been going on i'll have some more house videos too um within the next month or so we're just slowly um trying to complete some things but yeah guys that is all i have to say i love you all so much thank you for sticking around with me and i'll see you guys soon